Welcome back and in this tutorial we'll be recreating this design. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and hit the notification icon so you get notified each time I release a new video. So in this video I'll be explaining how you can create a design as this on Pixel Lab. So this design was replicated and this was my replica which I made on Pixel Lab. So the first thing here is um, I've provided every of the materials that are used in the design in uh, a single file, which I'll be in a single PNG files, which I'll be giving out. You'd find the link in the description box. So click on the link to get the resources. Then also these are the texts used. So I provided all this to save time while designing it. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we need here is our purple background but if we look closely you would see that the parts towards this middle it's kind of lighter so what we do is this you move on to the background section you change the color you come to gradient you tap the plus icon then we select this fourth gradient format here then we make some adjustments so the lighter part is towards the top of the design it's not the center by default you'd find the first notch at the edge of the design and the second at the center but since the lighter part it's not center so we just have to move this up then we change the color so starting with the darker part at the bottom here you can pick the color from the original design from the reference so we we'll pick that color then for the other part which is lighter you also pick so you have something like this so you can um, switch this off and yeah this is what we have then once we have that then the next major thing there is the shape at the bottom so i think let's start with that so if you are replicating a design something very important you should do to make it easier is place your own elements on the original design as i'm doing here so it will help increase your chances of creating exactly the same thing you are replicating so you can lock each layer then for us to see what we are actually doing you can hide this for a while then we start with the text there so for the first text there from this let me copy it out i think the radical jesus campaign then the maxwell so i'll just copy this and i'll copy this okay i got so you create a new text the font used there is lemon bold you can get that online if you don't have it yeah so the color used is on purple so you can also pick the color from the design to zoom just tap on this part then you zoom in with your two hands you tap it back you pick the color after picking tap the mark icon then you have your pink color okay just drag this to make it more saturated yeah so changing the font we have um lemon board so lemon board we'll be using board for the one at the top when we'll be using lights on the bottom as you can see from the original design they are now the same weight then we reduce the size so you can make use of the tool here to reduce the size then you make adjustments to the position so it's aligned you reduce the spacing between the okay not this okay yeah, this So you just make i'm trying to align it directly on the text and the reference so i think it's aligned this way so to prevent further changes you can lock it then let's check out what we have so looking at okay yeah this looks good then the next thing is to import the facebook icon if you're using this dark pixel lab you have the icons at the sticker session you just move to the emoji here then you select it so all you need to do is clean out other 
stickers that we don't need so you come to your eraser then you carefully clean out other icons that we do not need so we also increase this size so the facebook color is literally the same color we need so you don't need to edit that again so you try and adjust it the size isn't okay yeah the size is perfect then you also lock that for the airplane it's the same lemon board font you just have up line so you do what you also adjust it properly on the text there yeah i think this is good enough then you also lock it okay yeah there is a column in front then you lock it so for the phone numbers let's let's also copy it out So the font used for the phone number is Nexa. So let's create a new text. We paste the numbers we've copied. The color is purple as we've used before. So the text style, the font style is Nexa. So I think it should be Nexa regular. Then you uh, reduce the size and fit it directly on the same place it is on the original design. So let's use the tool here to make adjustments. So I think this is okay. Let's check the spacing to see. yeah so we have that sorted you also lock it then let's see what we have okay so if this looks kind of choked up so you can then space it out a little bit so for this we just adjust the phone numbers to looks a bit choked up we make adjustments Yeah, so I think we are done with that. Okay, let's also move this icon a little bit. So we are done with the bottom part of the design. You lock all layers, then we move to other part of the design. So let's start with this coach here. So like I've said, I already provided all every of the PNG used there. So all you just need to do is clean it out. So we need just this coach here. So all we just have to do is clean every other thing around the design. So I'm actually clean this part because I have something like um, clouds underneath here. So I'm trying to make sure everything is gone. Okay, yeah, we have our culture. So all you need to do is increase the size and make sure it's um, perfectly aligned. So it's aligned. All you need to do is lock it. Then we also we duplicate it. Then you go to the er eraser, then you undo everything you've erased. We need just this fire. I want us to keep this fire, so we'll clean every other thing there. So I think this is faster than me, putting each of the elements one after the other during the tutorial. So that's why I combined everything in one PNG file. So you place it directly on it. Okay, there's something here. So once it's aligned, you also lock it. Then um, you duplicate. Okay, before du okay, let's duplicate the leaf. You undo then. You need the leaf, so you clean other parts just to save time. So here is the leaf. Okay, there is. So here's the leaf, you just place it directly on it this way. We have two of the leaves there. Then let's try the rotation um the reverse rotation there. Okay, it isn't working, so I think we just use it the way it is. 
okay you rotate it and then once it's aligned you always lock it so avoid unnecessary movement so the next thing now is um okay the moon as you can see there is some kind of moon here yeah, so you know what we'll do is let's lock let's hide this so far this is what we have done so let's continue so we'll duplicate this also and um pick out the moon so you undo everything you've cleaned and you bring out the moon so the moon is at uh, this this part here at the right of tampa it is at this corner here this corner here so let me just carefully erase this so erase it okay so i think we tampered with something here so here's the moon you can see it is faint but you'd see it. okay you know let me just hide this so you can see it so you can see the moon you see it so this there's still some other stuff that need to be erased yeah so let's put on this so we can see where we are ex placing it on exactly so it's aligned so you also lock that then the next thing is um the clouds so you just duplicate the icons then you move to the eraser you undo everything you've cleaned then the clouds are the bottom of the png file so you clean everything at the top you can't see it because it's white so it's obviously will be visible on this kind of background or you can see the cloud so all you just need to do is duplicate it so to do that first effect is so we are doing less ids so you have one cloud here you also have another at the other side i think we also have one more here let me check yes we have some a little bit of cloud here then another one at the edge here yeah so that's all so that's all we have so i think we've created the clouds there then we lock every other layer so before we proceed i observed our background is too saturated compared to the original design so let's move this up since we are doing other things here so let's on id if you see the original design you can see the background we have is too saturated compared to what we have on the reference so all you just need to do is come to the plus icon and edit so desaturate it just move this a little bit down here and down um, this do the same you just move it down a little bit then we have this now it's too unsaturated so it just just it's too adjustment same thing here let's see let's compare okay i think this is okay we can continue with this so we are done with the first thing here so the couch i think this is first so we need to move it up so to front here yeah, it should be at the top yeah we are done with this so you lock every of your layers then we proceed so the next thing we have is the text here which is night so we increase the size the font used for night is um baboon baboon so you can every of these fonts if you don't have them you can download them and install it on the pixel app, app. For those who don't know how to install, I'll drop a link in the description to an Instagram post that will direct you on how you can install fonts on your Pixel Lab app. Okay, I think I used the recent name. Check the name. Okay, Balo. It's Balo. Is it Balo? Balo. Then um, let's see. The size isn't increased. So normally you look at the night text here that it's rotated it's not actually rotated it's the work of perspective too and let me show you if i rotate it you can see 
this n is bent compared to what we have here so you're going to make use of perspective so first let's balance the first letter and make sure it's the same size then we move on to our perspective tool you put it on then you make the adjustments make sure it is aligned with this as you can see so let's mark and see what we have so we have an idea of what we want to do so we need to see what we are adjusting so you need i need to adjust it without checking so let's reduce the spacing a little bit yeah so i think this is okay so let's compare so in some instances you might want to hide the reference and actually work on just what you are working on so this is good enough you lock it so the next thing there is the other text in the design so starting with the small text here which is hosts so the color let's see i think the color is the same with this so just pick that and the font used there is also lemon bold so reduce the size and um So you can just make some center alignment is that what we need in there then you lock it you can duplicate the, the next thing is the name maxwell i think this is it the color is white then instead of the lemon board font we'll be using the lemon board regular font i think lights here then increase the spacing let's lock this to avoid movements so let's increase the spacing it's not so it's a little bit lighter than what we have so i'm trying to see what exactly was used so let's check out other widths of the lemon wood font so lemon boots so instead of the lights let's check regular let's see okay, i think the correct font is regular so what i'm doing now is i'm trying to balance it on the actual design so I think this is good enough. So let's just use our discretion and use center alignments. Yeah, it's aligned. The next thing is um fifth edition. You duplicate. I think all is in caps. Then we also reduce the size. seen it to be increased then um, the size can go be a little bit then center line we also look that the next thing is uh, the I think the address which is what we have here the okay this is it for this let's see okay let's remove the spacing increase the size are they matching okay I think the same width 
Okay, we need to give it a little bit of spacing. Yeah. That does it. We also lock the layer. Then um, it duplicates once again. Okay, let's see the font that was used here. It's 30 to 30 pm. It's 30 am. Okay, 30 pm. To four, so space was not added to this. Increasing the size then we tamper with our text this undo it's back so I was trying to check the widths the matching and uh, no let's see Okay, I think that will work. Then the curved edge rectangle that was used. So you come to your sorry shapes. Then the radius. Okay, next. So you can zoom in to properly see what's going on here. Yeah, so I think this is good enough. So for the color, we have a gradient color, I think. So the first gradient, I think the gradient color is moving from left to right. So you change that by tapping the first icon on the top here. So for the first color, we have here. We have something like red. For the second color, we have I think a lighter color. Yeah, so... Our text should be at the top. Yeah, this also it's obvious this text isn't bold enough. So let's change the width. So I think the width here is regular. Let's try medium. I think medium does the magic. Then you properly align the texts. Okay. That's okay. You lock your layer, then the next thing is um the thin line here. Yeah. Can make yourself sticker. Um let's see. So if you're using do I have a straight line here? Yeah. Okay, I'll just use this, then I'll crop these parts out. So it's just all about manipulation using what you have available. So you change it to white. The other way is to create line straight lines on Pixel Lab. I dropped the post on that on my Instagram account. My Instagram I'm doing it is let me type it out. It's some graphics or for it's under some underscore 
graphics underscore o4 so you can check the the post i have there and i'll drop the link to my instagram account in the description box so you can just use the link and check them out so you look that then the next thing is um the dates so let's duplicate this shape here and make use of it so for this we'll go back to edit then we we'll remove the radius then we might need to zoom in okay as an error let's go again okay edit let's zoom in so we can see what we're actually doing So let's see what we have. So we can just make it a manual stuff here. So let's increase the width, the bits, and reduce the height. Okay, I think this is okay. It's fair enough. trying to adjust it then um it's kind of big let's reduce the size it's still bigger than what we have there initially okay i think it's okay this way then for the dates i think there's a reference design let's bring it up so we can duplicate this font here and have dates. This is the size of fonts here, so it fits perfectly into the small box here. Then, um for the other dates, the font used is Nexa. So we have 13. Color is white. Okay. Then the font is Nexa. I think Nexa regular was used here. Nexa regular. Then. So we still need to reduce because if you look closely it's actually touching the text box we gave this okay I think this is okay see the next is and 28 yeah so instead of nexa regular we'll be using nexa bold So duplicating that we have twenty twenty one. So for this we reduce the size and um, we use Nexa lights. Yeah. 
here lock and for the last text there the font used was um i think is lemon bold so light then the color then make adjustments to the size And I think we've added every of the elements. You can ignore the little text here, it's kind of a, like a watermark. So let's bring this to front. This is what we have. Okay, let's ignore this. Yeah, so let's hide. I'm trying to hide the okay. Yeah, this is it. So here we have it. Well, if we look at it, we have some adjustments to make, like the adjustments on the dates here is 20. And the text box for dates. We have little adjustments to make there. Yeah, what else? Then, um, what are the adjustments? That will be the only adjustment with the saturation of our background. It's kind of a little bit too much. Let's see what we can do. No, I think we we'll just use this. It's okay like this. Then I, that's all. So we've successfully replicated the design. You save your design as a project. So a quick one: if you are trying to save your design and your tool move up this way, you can see my tools. It moves up. If you save your design as a project that way, by the time you come back to your Pixel app, app you will have it all scattered. So first, you, what you can do is save as image first then you try it again then if it's still the same thing i would provide a solution to that let's see you can see the tools do not move up so you can actually save it and you have your project intact so you can say as a quatch but in case you have it still move your tools still moving up you can just create a shape Duplicate it, then merge it together. After merging, after merging, you can now hide it. Then you try saving. Once you try saving now, it will save without any issue. So, if you've learned something from this video, which I know you would have, kindly subscribe to my youtube channel like the video and drop a comment if there's any question you need to ask anything you want me to do in my next tutorial let me know in the comment section and don't forget to visit my instagram page i have a lot of important posts and tips on how you can use pixel app better thanks for watching